Welcome to another episode of the Team Elmer's Update, where we take you past the orange barrels and onto the job site. The Brown Bridge Quiet Area was previously the site of Brown Bridge Pond, which was formed when the dam was installed in 1922. In 2012, the 90 year old dam was removed, allowing the Boardman River to return to its original channel. The large wood habitat restoration project is to pick up where, uh, where Mother Nature basically let off before the dam was in place. So once the river channel was restored in its original alignment, the next logical missing piece is in-stream wood. Commonly in rivers like the Boardman, the most important structure for fish and other aquatic organisms are log jams. We installed logs and in the river. They were stockpiled um, about a mile from here. We had to haul them into the site. Then we had to build river crossings. We actually chatted across the river in a few locations, tried to minimize the, the disturbance in the bottom of the river by taking two excavators and moving the material across the river. We had to install the root wads, which are trees with root balls on them. Usually whole trees that have fallen into the channel because of wind or snow or some other natural disturbance, falls in and locks to the, to the bank and then acts as a, as a strainer or a, a, a substrate, if you will, for other debris to lodge onto and then form larger debris jams. It is a lot different because it's more art than science as far as how the logs are placed. The guys have to be a little more conscious of the environment. When working in beautiful areas such as this, regulatory agencies such as the DEQ and DNR put certain restrictions in place to ensure that the integrity of the environment is preserved. There was a few requirements that we had to follow and one of them in this case was a minimum flow elevation and we weren't able to work at any flow that went above a certain threshold. The project was intended to provide a healthier habitat for aquatic life, but it was also important to impose the least amount of disturbance as possible and maintain the natural beauty of the area. I just spoke with somebody here a few minutes ago and challenged them to locate these structures in a year, you know, after things have grown up. They, they look fairly natural. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Team Elmer's Update. As always, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. And check out teamelmers.com for more project information.